To complete the functionality of note colors in the piano roll, there's an important part left. Let's get into it. Hi. A very impressive and often underrated part of the piano roll editor in FL Studio are the tools. And especially the ones which include different patterns. These patterns are simple FL Studio score files, which means you can easily create your own patterns for these tools, which appear then in their list. We skip the quantize tool as it doesn't make any use out of note colors. And I skip as well the chop tool as it only responds to one additional color than the here shown ones. But its behavior isn't very predictable and I didn't find a single preset that makes use out of it. But if you're interested in, just open the chopper with Alt plus U, hit F1 to open the online manual and scroll to the bottom of the page. Let's have now a look how the pattern has to be created for the arpeggiator to work. I got here a three note chord which sounds like this. I open the arpeggiator which already did its work. It is set to the default pattern so let's have a look at it. As it is a normal score file, I can just drag it into the piano roll editor. It seems that for a three note arpeggio, the first note of my chord is represented by C5, the second by C sharp 5, and the third by D5. Okay, let's try to make my own. I like to have a normal version of 1, 3, 2 order, which already exists in the three notes folder, but only as a cropped version. Following the same rules I've seen in the default pattern before, I enter the first note on C5. Now I want to have my third note played, so the next note goes to D5, and the last to C sharp 5. Before I can use this new pattern in the ARP, I have to save it. The simplest way is to just drag this entry into the corresponding folder in the browser. It gets auto-named to whatever name you gave the pattern before. In this example, the default name Pattern1. But that doesn't tell me anything afterwards. Let's rename this pattern to 132 with spaces in between, like the other presets are named here. And drag it again into the browser. That did the job and I can delete the pattern 1 file. Choosing my three notes chord again and bringing up the ARP with ALT plus A. I can now choose my newly created pattern from the list. And it works. Okay, that had nothing to do with note colors, so let's go a step further. What about having a space after the last note? That we don't get the double note at the end, which often sounds a bit silly with the three notes arpeggio on a 4x4 grid. The start and end of the arpeggio pattern is defined by the existing notes. And then it repeats a part as long as my chord notes last, which was one bar in our example. The two overlapping notes got simply ignored. We can delete them. But how shall I tell the arpeggiator that it shall not play this last C5 note as it causes my double note again when looping this pattern? If I just delete it, the pattern would be simply duplicated. The redundant notes ignored, but there's again my double note at the end. This is where the note colors come into play. Note color 13 defines the length of a pattern. I change the color in the selector to it, insert a note below and make it one bar long. I delete again my double note at the end. 
This long note with the note color 13 now tells the arpeggiator that it shall not repeat the pattern until the end of this special note. Let's expand the pattern's name and type in without double. And save it again. Back to my chords and the arpeggiator. I select the newly created pattern. Perfect, the double note has disappeared. The chopping tool uses note color 13 in the same manner. In the pattern trans 2, we find a second color, color number 9. Let's try out what it does. I select the pink notes, set it back to note color 1, rename the pattern to trans 2b and save it. I go to my chord pattern, but I extend it to make the effect visible. In the ARP, there is a range selector, which shifts the notes by octaves after every time the chosen pattern has looped. The default pattern has a length of 3 sixteenths notes. So after every 3 sixteenths, the new notes are shifted by an octave. I set the range to 4, so after the fourth loop, it starts again at the bottom. The trans 2 pattern has a length of 1 bar. Let's try the B version without the pink note color. After every bar, all notes get shifted by an octave. In the original pattern, the C5 notes were colored pink. Here's again the B version, and this happens with the original. The pink color prevents notes from being changed by the range selector. All other notes got shifted in pitch, but the bottom ones, which were the pinky ones, stay in the same octave. Creating your own patterns for these tools is a very powerful and flexible feature, which everybody should be at least familiar with. If you like to create your own patterns, here's where they are going to. In your user library, under FL Studio, Presets, Scores, there have to be the folders for Apagiator, Chopping, Quantization, and stamps. I cannot tell you anymore if they get auto-created when you drag the save score as command to the browser or if they are created by default or if I made them myself. Please experiment a bit. Nevertheless, these are the locations for the separate tools that they can find the files. I guess the most safe way is what I've shown here to drag them directly into the browser as it works fast and flawless. This completes the functionality of note colors in terms of using it directly in the Piano Roll editor. And this is just one part why FL Studio's Piano Roll editor is considered as the best. Thank you for watching.